Hello everyone and welcome to this video. In this video we are going to work on the task 6 which is configure Azure DNS for the external name resolution. Now this task could be a little challenging because I really don't have a, a valid external domain name for the lab to use. So we probably have to go through some tricks. Now let's come down to lab uh, the task 6 which is down here and again I'm going to give you the link uh, in my video so you can go to the github and find the Microsoft learning to work on it so where does it start this is uh, task 5 task 6 right there so what we need to do in this one uh, open a new tab and navigate to this particular particular web URI so let's just go there and it is the go that is domain name search and identify a domain which domain is not in use not in use 1000.com hopefully no one is using that one let's see it says uh, not in use.com is available right so we can probably use it as uh, some do and do some testing so i'm going to use this not in use 1000 copy this one now in the azure portal you're going to go to the dns zones okay so let's just search for dns zones remember in the last video we created the private dns zone that is different this time we're dealing with the public dns zone so we're going to go to the dns zones and hit create okay and the instance detail is going to be the not in use let me get rid of that and the resource group is still going to be the rg1 okay and just uh, review and create and that is going to create the dns so the validation is successful so let's just create the dns zone so it shouldn't take very long to create as soon as this is done we're going to go to the resource okay so go to the resource and if you know a little bit of the dns the dns uh, you have a different kind of record this is the soa uh, ns is the name server record so what we'll do we're going to create a record set Okay, which is right over here so click on that one and this one we're going to add a record set with the following settings so we're going to add the vm zeros record so that is going to be the name of it and then it's going to be a type a that means host name to ip uh, alias is no and ttl time to leave is one hour okay and then IP address, the public IP address of this VM0, which you've identified. So we just have to go back and get the VM0 IP address. So let's just go back to our VM0 machine and just get the public IP address. Let's go in here and put the public IP address right over there. Okay, so we got that one. And you hit OK. So that is creating the new set and this got created and now is mapping to the private public IP address. In the last video, we were mapping it down to the private IP, but this time it's mapping to the public IP address. Okay, uh, again, we're gonna create a record set and this time we're gonna create a record set for uh, the other machine, which is the VM1, still A, no, one hour, but this time I gotta find the IP address of VM1. So there we go, the VM1. I'll copy that one, come back, put it there, hit OK. Okay, so now another line should be added. Okay, and that should say the VM1 and it's pointing to the public IP address of the VM1. So we got both of them taken care of. On the DNS zone blade, note that the name of the name server one entry so where is the name server one entry this is the name server one ns1-34 azure.dns.com okay so what we will do here uh, in the azure portal open the powershell session in the cloud shell uh, clicking the icon so over here i'm going to click on this icon so that should open up powershell uh, 
window for me at the bottom so let's see what happens looks like it's taking some time uh, what I'll do I'll copy this one and refresh it real quick what is my refresh button I'm just going to refresh it from at the top silly page and when it comes back I will click this again and now I have the power service coming up okay so we are kind of in this step right now in the cloud cell run the following to test the external on the name resolution of the AZ 104 VM0 DNS record so I still don't have anything that is I still didn't get the interesting I still didn't get the command prompt so this time I did on the bass I'm gonna try the parcel one more time and this time looks like it's connecting and hopefully I'll get the power yeah I got the command from now so what we have to do uh, replace the placeholder name server with the name of the name server one so we're going to run this command okay so we are just copy this one first okay paste and then hit up so the name server one is this copy and i'm going to get rid of this and then we can paste it so there is my name server one and domain name that we have here is not in use 1000.com so bringing what I'm doing is here not in use 1000.com and I'm saying hey for this record in this lookup go to this particular name server and find me the information so let's just hit enter here and look at that you just got your response back so the address is uh, the server address this server there is a DNS server uh, is there is the IP as running over 453 and it's telling me this is the host name of the virtual machine and that is running at uh, 168.61.34.213 is that correct so 168.61.34.213 so it's told me that this is working just fine so what we can do we can also try the other one so here in this case I'm going to go to VM1 and hit enter and validate that the other machine VM1 is resolving to 40.76.215.120 and it did Okay. so now basically we are done with our series of labs for this particular networking okay uh, the last thing that we do at the end of every series of labs that we clean up our resources okay so let's see what kind of resources we created by running this particular command okay and uh, so that is the one only one resource that we created and we can run the next command to go after the resource group and then forcefully delete that particular resource group okay it will take a little bit of time it will run in the background so we are done with the whole lab so let's meet in the next video where we are going to start working on uh, inter-site connectivity so that's uh, let's meet there and have fun